Tonight we're kicking off our annual preparing for monsoon series. Of course, the monsoon beginning on Sunday each night this week. We're helping to keep you safe from well, things like dust storms, flash flooding and of course dangerous lighting. We want you to all enjoy the rain we need so badly. And while there's no guarantee, the forecast so far is looking pretty wet. Here's your monsoon outlook. <laughs> If Mother Nature has taught us anything in the past few years, it's to prepare for the unexpected. Much of what we're learning from climate change is that these extremes can and will become more common. Like it or not, intense June heat is required to get the monsoon underway. Here's how our monsoon gets going. Long before we see our daily rounds of thunderstorms in southern Arizona, storms have been long firing up along the Sierra Madre Mountains of Mexico. This is where our monsoon is born. Strong high pressure bakes northern Mexico and gets these storms fired up. Typically, we see many weeks of these hot temperatures, well above 100 degrees during this time. As June turns into July, that high pressure migrates north and finds its home right near the Four Corners. Winds then blow clockwise around high pressure, and with the heat in place, instability providing the perfect recipe for storms to form. We now have our final ingredient in place for rain, a surge of moisture moving into the area from the southeast. So after a dry winter, worsening drought conditions, everyone wants to know, how much rain can we expect this monsoon. On average, Tucson receives just under six inches of rain during the monsoon, as defined by the calendar dates of June 15th through September 30th. We're coming off one of our driest winter and spring months on record. History goes back to 1895 here for the city of Tucson, but it's this exact lack of winter and spring rain that actually may increase our monsoon rain totals. History shows that six of the 15 wettest monsoons came directly after some of the driest winters, and about 60% of the time, a dry winter is followed by a wetter than normal monsoon. And the Climate Prediction Center agrees that a wetter than average monsoon is headed our way. Now the cooler Pacific waters known as La Nina have moved on out, ocean temperatures have returned to average, meaning we are no longer in an El Nino or La Nina pattern. Forecasters call this ENSO or ENSO neutral conditions that could give the monsoon a running start, perhaps even earlier than usual. In fact, when we look back at the past five ENSO neutral summers, again, that means no El Nino or La Nina, four of the five were actually above average. This includes the historic monsoon of 2021, which was the third wettest monsoon on record. So based on our dry winter and spring, the official long-term forecast from the Climate Prediction Center and looking at years past with similar conditions, we are happily predicting an above average monsoon. But as we have seen many times in the past, we can never out forecast Mother Nature's plans. And of course, make sure to tune into our monsoon special, which airs this Sunday immediately following the U.S. Open. 